Okay, we're going to test the tube now with the Hickok 800. I've got a 12AX7 that's used in the uh, Tormac control system on the jukebox. And these are the settings. I'm going to test the number one triode. Let's see. I'm going to make sure all my settings are correct. So we got 12.6 volts. <clears throat> and then we go EV. So we got E, V, 7, 6, 0, 8, 0. That one's on 8, and then dash 0. Okay. Bias is going to be on 12. It's already there. And the English is going to be on 58, which I have set already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the meter on. I'm going to get the line test done. So you want the, <clears throat> the meter to show right on that line, just off a little bit. So I'm going to turn it just a bit. It's a rheostat in there. So you can make that adjustment. Compensate for your line voltage. Okay, it's on the line now. So the first thing we're going to do is test for shorts. This is your leakage test right here. You go each number, watch the meter, tap the tube. And there's no shorts in that tube. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back to tube test. And when we're on tube test, we're going to be looking at this scale where it says micro Mohs. You don't look at that good and bad scale. You just look at these numbers. So we're looking for a mutual conductance of 1250. If this was a fairly new tube, it would test it around 1250. This tube is probably I'm going to say at least 10 years old or more. So for the mutual conductance test, there's three different red dots on the English dial. And that corresponds to each one of these scales. You got your 0 to 3,000, uh, 1,000 to 6,000, 2,500 to 15,000. So there's three dots. And depending on which scale, because we're going to go for 1250, and I'm going to put it on the 3000 scale. And what you do is you press your GM, and it is reading right about 800, which isn't too surprising since it's such an old tube. Okay, I have another 12AX7 I'm going to test. This is a FOCO brand. See what kind of readings you get. Got the tube tester all set up <clears throat> and it's on tube test. Got it set to the red scale or the 3000 scale. I'm going to hit the GM button and this tube tests pretty good. It's supposed to test in the 1250 range and we're getting just over 1100 on that scale. So as you can see, I have the uh, line voltage set. Where's your line test? And <clears throat> I got it set on E, V, 2, 1, 0, 3, 0. And then the bias is going to set on 12 for the bias. And for mutual conductance, you're going to go on the red dots. For shorts test, you would set your English to 58 right there. Then you would uh, go through each position on here, testing it for shorts and leakage. And for the <coughs> for the uh, Mutual conductance test, you would set it to that red dot so it reads on that scale. And you hit the GM button. 
and that's what you get. So that's the that's how you test the 12AX7 on the Hickok 800 tube tester.